Well, good morning, everyone. We are here at the good old USS Lexington this morning with our friends and travel buddies, Terry and Carl. We met them in Palm Springs at Catalina Spa and RV Resort last year and have been traveling with them from Texas to Washington this last month. We were lucky to have Carl with us on the USS Lexington ship tour as he served in the Navy for 12 years, serving on the USS Camden and the USS Halsey. He served nine years as the operations specialist, which helped facilitate the operation of the ship's mission, and three years on deck division, which dealt with the maintenance and painting of the port side of the ship. We have been on the move a lot, so I am playing catch up as far as video timelines and such. So it looks like we are bouncing around the globe, but I'll get caught up soon. Commissioned in 1943, the Lexington set more records than any other Essex-class carrier in the history of naval aviation. The ship was the oldest working carrier in the United States Navy when decommissioned in 1991. The Lexington participated in nearly every major operation in the Pacific Theater and spent a total of 21 months in combat. Her planes destroyed 372 enemy aircraft in the air and 475 more on the ground. She sank or destroyed 300,000 tons of enemy cargo and damaged an additional 600,000 tons. The ship's guns shot down 15 planes and assisted in downing five more. This thing's huge. So what was this area used for down here? This is where we'll start the planes. Hi. Hey, how are you? And how many planes would we get down in here? Hundreds? Uh, we did like, uh, watching the history on this last night, they could store like uh, 36 fighters and then five of the, the long range and then basically like five of each. They had torpedo bombers. Charlie. If you need a cut and a shave, stick around. Charlie should be done soon. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty short. Oh. You let us know how that's Only hours before, these same vessels had come under withering gunfire from the Japanese Navy. Triple F. Yes. Yeah. The Japanese reported the Lexington sunk no less than four times, yet each time she returned to fight again, leading the propagandist Tokyo Rose to nickname her the Blue Ghost. The name is a tribute to the ship and to the crew and the air groups that served aboard her. Metal and salt aren't good together, so there is continuous scraping, grinding, repaint of everything, as well as applications of non-skid materials on the floor surfaces. Is that like an oil base? The latex. Latex? It's, it's the new hybrid, which is... It's like kills or something? No, it's, it's, a, it's latex, but it's made to simulate uh, oil. It's like an uh. animal. I was going to say, I wouldn't think they'd put oil or uh, latex in here on metal and stuff, you know? No, but since, uh, but now we do it for safety and for safety. For safety ah, reasons, yeah. fire. Yeah, we don't want oil burn real fast. Fantail. Another 35 were injured. Because of the severe damage, five of us were left in the damaged spaces until Lexington reached Pearl Harbor. For 15 knots. All right, number four, turning 108 RPM for answering standard bell. Awesome. Just the sheer amount of memorabilia and models and live displays throughout the ship was amazing. Every floor on the tour had tons of stuff to see and we were only able to visit three of the five floors. If you come for a visit, figure to spend from three to five hours to see it all. Um, 
The massive amount of levers and gauges and endless hallways leading to who knows where was mind-boggling. It would take months just to figure out how to not get lost in here, let alone be able to run this huge machine. And because it is one huge machine, and I didn't expect it, everywhere smelled like a combo of diesel, hydraulic fluid, and paint. Not suffocatingly so, but it was everywhere. So what is this area right here? I don't I thought this was where I got lost. Oh, this is where they did the, the briefing room, right? Yes, for all the pilots, yes. Like in Top Gun, where they sit around and talk about they're gonna... Exactly. Know. Okay, so... Another briefing room? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so this room here, this is the gun room. There's two guns in it. Yeah? Yes. And they, those are five inch shells? They are. All working in suit position. Each man was attended by a projectile man, a powder man, a hot case man, and a gun captain. These four men. Flight deck with uh, some of the, it looks like some of the original aircraft plus some modern aircraft or more modern aircraft. And then wasn't this like uh, in the movie Top Gun? Mm -hmm. Wasn't that, that, was that, the, that is the plane, that right? That is that was the in there? F-14, yes. The Tom Cruise flew, yeah. Yeah, I think it says Maverick on the side of it. Mm-hmm.
Okay, so the thing in the middle with the 57 on it is an OBA, and it can turn into a bomb. What? How? Oh, from, well, it's your oxygen breathing apparatus. And yeah. It, if you get salt water in it, uh, it could be an explosive, so you always want to stay away from the salt water uh, while wearing that thing. So this is the Combat Information Center. What was your role in this room? We'll call it the, uh, the central uh, heart of information for the mission of the ship, whether it be doing any kind of navigation or uh, general quarters or uh, any kind of uh, communication with aircraft. Uh, it all came out of Combat Information Center. This is the room where Carl could not keep his hands off of anything, and he just felt like he had to flip every lever and turn every knob. I'm sure after navigating something this massive, it's probably why he's so comfortable driving 40 foot of RV, pulling a 30 foot trailer with a car inside. So these are life rafts stuck to the side here, correct? Yes, they, uh, they can be re released from their holders uh, manually, or if they go so many feet, below the water as if the ship sinks, they'll automatically inflate and each one will hold about 25 crew members. So all these people were either killed or wounded due to a kamikaze. Well, thanks for coming along on our tour of the USS Lexington and a special thanks to our personal tour guide, Carl, for his service to our country and for his expert input on this video and for all who served on the Lexington. And as always, if you liked the video, like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.